Hi, hello guys. We won! It's a good feeling. We had a, f a bunch of guys actually this war that uh, weren't able to attack for various reasons. So luckily the other clan who actually had one more win than we did was uh, a little behind on their attacks as well. But that brings me to the reason that I'm uh, recording again, is it's time for a, a video on uh, the Battle Axe. Now Jinsu had the axe, uh, based on his, his late uh, attempt at heroics on the, the last war, which uh, was awesome. And uh, another interesting way to pass it is because of defensive victories. So there you can see, once uh, KJ's donations get out of the way, 70 to 57 stars. Um, we won 10 more attacks out of uh, 50 for both sides. So, gotta love it. I just want to take a, a peek. See, there they, are. there they are, 57 wins. We had 56 prior to this war, and I'm sure that that's what this... Re no, it shows 57, so that, that updated right after our win. Um, so uh, they're doing something right, but uh, not right enough to beat us. So uh, Jinsu decided to pass the axe to Marco on the fact that he sucked up five attacks one two of those so i haven't done uh any uh digging yet as far as uh looking looking through it's, it's going to be difficult to find these but uh we're going to find them i want to find these wins we'll see what uh what was right what was uh good about the way that he's got things set up And go from there. So I think the best way to do that is under war events. And just keep scrolling down until we find his name. Man, oh, Marco defended Brandon. Let's watch this one. This is obviously later in the war. One thing that's nice is he's got all of his. It, it, Nice uh, for an air attacker like me, but uh, but just in general to uh, to avoid air attacks is he's got all of his ads centralized. That's really tough. Look at this: his attacker brought a CC full of uh, those uh, red wizards, which going up against a clan with a town hall ten is always trouble. Always trouble. <laughs> and honest to God, I don't know if I was just talking too much. I have no idea what happened. The guy's troops are gone. Let's see, level two Pekka's, uh, level one Golems. <laughs> but still, they should have lasted a little bit longer than that. They're gone. I don't even know what happened to them. So now it's just clean up around the edges here. Oh, that's good stuff. I love seeing somebody fail against your guys like this. Wait, he's still got five archers left. What's he going to do with those five archers? Gonna get them killed too. Oh, look at that. He's gonna go for for a little bit of loot. Lost everything else. Might as well go for the gold. And there's nothing in the collectors. Poor sap. Okay, seen enough of that. So that was Brandon from Sparta EC. 
Wish I could tell you good job, Brandon, but uh, not today. Good job, Marco. Okay, let's see if we can find the next one. Look at that. That's a lot of defenses. Just looking at the, the last... Uh, yeah, there's four in the last moment. Jinsu and KTB both had uh, full stops of, from guys looking for loot. Um, Ragnar had a full stop. 15 minutes left. So there's another one at Jinsu. That was the thing is, is that Jinsu had a bunch of uh, defenses this this war too. The, when I first joined this clan, I stole his uh, uh, layout because it was so... It, it was so well put together. And obviously he pays attention to how things uh, attack him and, and fixes things on the fly. So here's uh, the other full stop by Marco. Let's see what do we got here. This looks like a little hog slash farm army. Uses the hog to draw out the CC troops. The other thing that's nice about Marco's base is that he's got nothing in the corners that that he can safely uh, that an attacker can safely draw CC troops to without being under fire from the defenses. I love that. That those those double big bombs are probably intended to. Uh, eh, I don't necessarily like where those are at. Those those get wasted. One hog it, it would blow those things up if somebody decided to to hog him. So finally, CC troops. Ah, there's another wizard. It's gonna look at that. <laughs> that one wizard did that to those giants. Forces the guy to use a heal spell. Hog rider. It's just such a hodgepodge of troops. I mean, it's almost like it's destined to fail. I'm watching the hogs. I, I see rage on hogs, and I think, what a waste. I've seen it used effectively, but it's few and far between. And that's the end of the attack. This guy's sitting there thinking, where the hell am I going to put my king? And now I was thinking, eh, it doesn't look like there's any place I can put my king. I guess I'll save him. Quit. <laughs> another, another good stop. So, like I said, all in all, sucked up five attacks, which helps... It helps immensely, and a lot of the, the a lot of the the unsung heroes of war are the lower ranked guys who can do that, who can put a base together that looks easy, and everybody down there thinks, "Oh, I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to get this guy," and uh, not going to happen. Wastes a bunch of attacks. So. Out of those five attacks, the two that I just showed you were, were zero, tar, zero star attacks. So five attacks it took them to get two stars on Marco. Good job, bub. And there goes the battle axe. See you next time.